All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are in Novigrad, and we've been doing a bunch of the side quests and hunts and things like that around here. Some of which are fairly straightforward, others are not. <laughs> like uh, when I had to go to uh, Skellige for uh, Lambert. That, that, was not, that was not simple. Um, we just completed a hunt uh, for a, this guardsman here, who appears to be stuck in the ground. Yeah. Um, or at least up to his knees, anyway. Uh, and he, there were some guards who were dead, and we ended up finding out it was a succubus. She claims it was self-defense, so we told her to just leave the city. Um, if that's the case, then hey, she's not going to be harming anybody here anymore. So without any further ado, let's get going and see if we can figure out uh, what we're going to do next, okay? Oh, let's take a look at the quests. Uh, Novigrad Dreaming is the next main quest. It's a level 7 quest. Uh, secondary quests, the lowest one I have is a level 23. And Witcher Contracts, the lowest one I have is a level 20. Uh, I'm currently level 16, so I'm not going to do any of those. I'm going to do Novigrad Dreaming. So, um, quick summary, I'm going to read the mission description here. Uh, Oniromancers, or dreamers as they are more commonly called, possess the ability their name implies, to divine the future or relive the past through dreams. Corin was one of the best of her kind and had no trouble finding clients, even with the hostility to the occult that reigned in Novigrad at the time. Geralt hoped she would spare him a few moments and set him off to find her in a house, or and set off to find her in a house where she had gone to ply her trade. This was the um, the Nyromancer that uh, Triss pointed us in the direction of, so that uh, we could hopefully find Ciri. Actually, I just had a thought. I recently took on a secondary quest um, for an elven swords uh, blacksmith who was um, very, very skilled, or so the cutscene would have me believe. Uh, but I didn't look into the quest before. It's a level 24 quest, so that'll be something for later. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week, well, you shan't believe it, I found human feces in the parlor. Pleasant. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Not quite. One for monsters, one for non-monsters. Uh, 
And this place is dusty as hell. And there's lots of lootables. Oh, it's this music again. Last time I heard this music was on Fike Isle, where we were also dealing with a haunting. <laughs> dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. There's some other stuff down here that I wanted to loot first. I just heard uh, Corinne's uh, franticness from upstairs and wanted to check it out in case it was something that was more urgent. Gerenian Curious. So we got some loot. Let's head upstairs to the attic and find whatever this doll is that she was talking about.
next room's blocked. Hmm. I imagine this is something some Ard can take care of. Yep. Couple sparkly bits. Whole lot of lootables, though. So let's start with this one. Drawing of a crib. A uh, paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn by a child, it seems. Okay. And a doll. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. Though whatever that being was that was standing over Corinne as she was uh, in the bed looked an awful lot like a um, uh, godling. We've uh, we've seen a godling before, so. Find out why the door slammed shut. All right. Oh, there's a note. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh, joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Drawing of a bread hearth. Interesting. Well, whatever this thing is, it uh, wants me to go on a scavenger hunt with it, apparently. I don't know why, Ger why Geralt is so bad at those stairs, but he is. scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Yeah, she looks very similar to a godling, but I don't think she is. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red, 
Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! So I was wrong. It is a godling. So I can say that I'll throw her out, or I can try and make a deal. Let's be peaceful. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. At the same time, sweet and sad. But your yellow eyes are a bit frightening. Look, mine are pretty. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. And we should go talk to the banker as well. Again, Geralt is very bad with those stairs in particular. The rest of the stairs he's fine with, but those ones, no. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? House is still haunted, can't seem to lift the curse, or I know why the house is haunted. Uh, I'm not going to go back on my, on my promise. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently, though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well, it shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Butlers, economically. Well, benefits of being the head of Novigrad's biggest bank, I suppose. All right, let's go meet Corinne at the Golden Sturgeon. Fine, met you, mate. 
What is it right away looking for adventure? All of these rats still leaving the warehouse. Now, good news is the guard appears to have made his way out of the ground. <laughs> looks like uh, where one of the fights is, because we did the uh, Velen fighting circuit. We haven't done the Novigrad fighting circuit because it was a fairly high level. Seems you're training healthy. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I remember when we first met. I trained her at Kaer Morin, saved her life once. She was there when I died. Huh. Well, my strongest memory of her uh, with Geralt was when... Well, no, that's the, that was a dream at the very beginning of the, of the game. I'm really curious about the last option. She was there when I died. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. It was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. Well, I'm really curious, so I'm going to go through all of these. Um, I started at the end. I'm going to go to the beginning and then work forward from the beginning. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the Law of Surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. 
happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Ciri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Ciri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Ciri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. I wonder if this is like the last question where I can say all of them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah. There's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Ciri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Ciri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion or Yennefer and Triss? Well, Geralt meant, mentioned that um, Yennefer once called uh, Ciri her daughter. So let's go with that one. Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot.
attempt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Time in their will. Rosemary and Time? I mean, I know those are common herbs, but Simon and Garfunkel much? The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Well, that was interesting. As soon as the bird... The, at first, the bird in the dream confused me, but uh, once it looked like Dandelion was arguing with the bird, and the, or that they were arguing back and forth, I remembered that um, Siri was referred to as the uh, swallow in the elven ruins way back uh, with Kira. So I'm going to call an end to the episode here. You know the drill. Click over there. Join me next time when we decide what we're going to do. Maybe see if we can find Dandelion at the Rosemary in Time. All these plants. <laughs> see you then.